Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing? Apologies for the few minutes delay. We were just sorting out some last minute technical issues. Um, but how is everybody? Can everybody hear me to start with? Let's make sure that that's happening and that everybody can hear me. Uh, oh, good evening, says Amrit. Good morning from Brisbane. Lovely to see you, Kay. Uh, Wanda, great, says GT. Fantastic, says TJ. Yes, 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 yes. Hi, Joe. Uh, great, guys. Awesome. Awesome, says Galen. Fantastic. Now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, have we got a treat for you today. How exciting is this? Um, I have two amazing ladies on the call with me this morning who are going to show you how to uh, create your own graphics and how to create your own timelines, which I think is fantastic. Now, did you know that, so I'm just seeing all these hellos, hello, hello. We've got London. We've got, uh, oh, Graham says, hope Rhett's nicer today. Rhett's asleep, Graham, so that's fine. <laughs> we've got Vancouver. Uh, we've got Auckland. Um, we've got New Zealand. Fantastic. Neil's saying, I'm not very croaky if I've been awake for ages. No, do you know what, Neil? Isn't it funny? I'm not too croaky these days. Um, anyway, so Kansas City, Tennessee, Florida. Wow. Amish country, Pennsylvania, Northern Ireland. Anyway, sorry, I always love this bit, don't I? Guys, I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to hand over to the two fantastic ladies that we have on the call tonight because did you know that... Um, Facebook are encouraging you to regularly change your timeline, okay, to freshen up your page, to make it more interesting, all of that kind of stuff. So with that being said, in an ideal world, you want to be in a situation where you can change it regularly without too much cost, yeah, you want to be able to do it yourself. So that's exactly what the ladies we have with us this morning are going to show you how to do, um, and not only that, but they have something amazing that they want to share with you which is going to give you everything you need in order to be able to create your own timeline graphics. So, I'd like you to give them lots and lots of support because this is their first ever webinar, their first ever online presence, so I'd really, really, live, live presentation, I'd really like you to give them lots and lots of support and I would like to introduce to you the lovely Caroline Jones and Davina Braun from free gra useful graphic design tutorials. And the first lady who's going to be greeting us this morning is Caroline Jones. Hello, Caroline. Dum -da -da -dum -dum -dum. Hi, Joe. <laughs> Caroline here <laughs> in snowy Wales. Oh, is it snowy where you guys are? It is indeed. Oh, that doesn't sound too good. <laughs> Sounds a bit chilly to me. <laughs> it is chilly, but it's okay. We're nice and warm in uh, this nice little office here. Excellent. Well, you have got loads of people. Caroline Ozzy say, yay, go Caroline. Oh, uh, Trish, thank you. Trish is, Trish is saying, hello, Caroline and Davina. Ireland is tuning, tuning in. Uh, Larry says, hi, Caroline. Um, Flick Martin says, clapping madly. Neil is saying, clap, 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 yay, yay, yay. <laughs> Oh, thank you very much, guys. That's very nice. Yep, you've got loads and loads of messages flying in here. Keith Everett's on the call as well. We haven't seen Keith for a while. Hello, Keith. Um, excellent. So, very, very exciting. And your first subscriber, Kathy Phillips, also says hi. Um, okay. Now, can I just test the sound? Caroline, can you just say hello and can everybody just tell me whether they can hear Caroline? Absolutely fine. Okay. Tasting, tasting. Can everybody hear me? <laughs> Yep, yep, loud and clear. Okay, Excellent. Let's keep talking. Fantastic. Yep, okay. All right, Caroline, um, what I'm going to do then, my love, is I'm going to mute myself um, so that you don't hear me breathing in the, the, the background. Oh, a couple of people have just said louder, please. Can you just turn up your mic a little bit, Caroline? Yep, louder, louder, louder. Dun, 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 dun. Is that better? Excellent. Oh, yeah, I can, I, can, I can hear you really well, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Can everybody hear my screen? See my screen, even. Yep. Can everybody see Caroline's screen? Sean, just turn your speakers down if it's too loud for you. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> oh, Sean's laughing. He's going, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> uh, Robert says, your screen sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. 
Um, let's go. Caroline, I'm going to mute myself. You guys take it away. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, just so you know as well, before we start the presentation, I've got the controls. So what's going to happen is through the presentation, Caroline and, and Davina are going to um, uh, swap controls, and I'm going to be doing that. So just bear with us while we do that through the presentation. All right. So, Caroline, take it away. Thank you very much indeed, Joe. Uh, and just before uh, I say goodbye to you, gentle reminder, um, are you recording this? And I, I, I heard you say that to Rhett, so that's fine. Yep, okay. it's all recording, fine, so that's all good, yep. Fantastic. Before we actually uh, kick off, what I'd really like to do is thank Joe for giving us the opportunity to showcase our business on the webinar. We really do appreciate it. We'd also really like to say how much we appreciate all the well wishes from our pals on Facebook, all of you. We, we've really been taken back by them all, to be honest. Also, good morning to Mrs. Hayden, hoping the, hoping the alarm went off. And we would like to say hello to absent Aussie pals. Sandra, if you're listening to the replay, we hope you enjoy it. Okay, so let's get going. And hello there, everyone. My name's Caroline, and Davina is sitting next to me here. She'll say hello a little later on. Now, we are the two sisters behind useful graphic design tutorials. If you've not met us before, well, a special hello to you. And just so you know, Davina's the boss and has a Mac, which she regularly flashes every Saturday night. And I'm the shy and retiring one. And I've got windows, but they're clearing up very nicely, thank you. This is our first webinar. Um, we've got mixed emotions, to be honest, <laughs> excited and petrified, but we've decided that it's a little bit like being on the radio. Well, actually, we have never been on the radio. So anyway, Joe asked us to talk about our credentials. Aside from Davina being a social worker specializing in mental health and myself being a licensed psychometric assessor working with UK businesses, our interest in photos and graphics has been with us for some time. In fact, Davina's a good photographer. We're not formally trained graphic designers, but we do have extensive experience of using graphic software. We use Photoshop, Photoshop Elements, Adobe Illustrator, Inkscape, GIMP, pixel are and we've looked at a whole heap more. Now we know that you can create your own fabulous effective timeline cover images and we really hope to convey this tonight by giving you lots of practical tips even if you're sitting at home saying things like I'm not creative, how do I fill the space, I'm useless at graphics, I don't have the time or my favorite and came bottom at art school because at, at art in school because that actually is what happened to me. So let's have a look at what we're going to cover in the next 30 minutes. So we're going to do a demonstration creating a timeline image. Well, actually, I'm not. Davina's going to do this. Number two, we're going to give you some tips on design and layout of that image. Number three, we're going to show you a couple of before and after tips to demonstrate these tips. And number four, good and not good examples of timeline images on Facebook that we'd like to share with you. And we do have a little surprise for you at the end, and then this will be followed by question and answer session. And what we hope to do is liberally sprinkle useful tips throughout the 30 minutes. Now, we both believe that this timeline image is a great way to keep your page fresh by regularly updating it, as Joe said updating the image and the message. And we read somewhere that Mary Smith was going to change hers every one to three days. Hmm, that, that's more than some people change their underwear. Um, but the profile image, that's the small square one on the left-hand side that sits over the timeline image itself where your logo goes. This is the image that will follow you around Facebook and will in effect be your branding. But it's the cover image where you can showcase what you're doing and place any messages to your fans or visitors on all, of course, within the Facebook rules. And just to cap recap on those rules, we've borrowed an infographic. Eden was in of the secret gone. We thought it was so great that we had to use it. Thanks, Eden. And what Eden has done is encapsulate uh, those rules in four neat little pictures. So here on the first one, 
you cannot put any price or purchase information on the timeline. Number two, there should be no references to Facebook features such as like and shares. There should be no conf contact information such as email address or web address. And finally, over here on the right, no calls to action such as get it now or tell your friends. Now, the more we think of the new timeline, the more we believe that the message you place here can really engender a community feel to the page and help to engage with visitors. And this will be more difficult for the bigger brands to do, we think. Obviously, that's got to pan out. It's early days. But we can help you here in giving you some real options and choices of different backgrounds to change up the image whilst making it quick, easy uh, for you to do. Okay, so that set the scene for the next 30 minutes. At this point, we're going to ask Joe to switch presenters and Davina's going to start by showing us how to create a timeline. All right, we're just switching over now to the lovely Davina. I pressed the wrong button there. <laughs> Show my screen. Not yet. Oh, God. <laughs> um, right, but well, you can hear me. Can everybody else hear me? Uh, can everybody hear Davina okay? Yep, you're all good, Davina. You're good to go. Well, can they see the screen more? Like, which yep, is more yep. important. Yep, we can all see your screen. Right. Okey doke. Off we go. <laughs> Hello, it's Davina here. <clears throat> See if I can do it, anybody can. Before I get into the live demonstration, I really want to reiterate and say thank you very much to Joe and Rhett for giving this, for giving us this uh, opportunity to showcase. And also, oh, you people out there, it's, it's quite emotional, <clears throat> but I'm not going to cry. <clears throat> anyway. Thank you very much, Camla. That was smashing. Um, she's good, isn't she? And I've got to follow that. She's um, pretty good for a shy, retiring type. Okay. Yes, I've drawn the short straw to perform first. I did consider having a stiff drink before I began, but I didn't think you'd, you'd appreciate a wobbly cursor. So I'm sticking to non-alcoholic water. And for anybody out there listening to this, do have some hobnobs and coffee on us. Just wanted to point out that I was going to be doing a live demonstration with Inkscape, but it would appear that Inkscape and GoToWebinar don't like one another because it did create some sound problems. So instead, I'm going to do a semi-live demonstration with some strides some slides. Okay, enough chat, down to business. What I'm going to do is to show you how to put a timeline cover image together using a background from a collection I have. What we have here is a black and white gradient and it's 851 by 315, which, as you know, is the timeline size. And I'm bringing in three images. These images were cropped from bigger pictures that Caroline and I took in Pike Street Market in Seattle. Yes, I know. Davina, Davina, yeah. sorry to interrupt. Davina, sorry to interrupt. Two things. Uh, a couple of people are asking you to um, just turn your mic up a little bit, but also we're not seeing your screen move. We, we're still seeing the intro slide. Oh. oh. Did you? Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. I now have fruit. I now have tomatoes and peppers and. Yep. Also, ladies, sorry about this. Just a uh, just a, another small thing, for, just for both of you as we're going through. It does appear that as you move your slides, your sound dips a little bit. So when yeah. you swap slides, just give it a, just give it a moment to um, just to catch up because it just seems your sound dips each time yeah. you click a slide. So, okay. No problem. Great. We can now okay. see. We can now see your hobnobs. We can now see your hobnobs and your cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> and are you have you can everybody hear Davina all right? Have you turned your mic up a little bit, love? 
Yep. Everybody's saying yep. That's fine. Well, I'll, if not, tell me to shout, and I will. Yep. Okay. All right, Davina, okay. I'll leave you back to it. Sorry about that. No problem. Okay, back to the hobnobs. Um, yes, so what I was saying, uh, you couldn't see it. Um, I'm going to show you how to create a timeline and what I've done is brought in a white gradient. Uh, it's the background and the size is 851 pixels by 315. I'm also I brought in three images. Now, the bigger images um, that Caroline and I took of all the fruit and vegetables in Pike Street Market in Seattle. So, that, that's a tip, you know, have a look at your own photograph to see what you can use. And of course, we do need to this is a social. Media. My local business happens to be a green grocer. I wanted the text to be bright so you could see it, and the font is Sons. And I've centered the text there. So that is one example. Let's have a look at another. background, black and white gradient, but this time I'm to left from the As per Davina, sorry, I'm interrupting you again. Yeah, what's the problem? Davina, hello. Yeah, sorry, it's when you're, whenever you're. Can you hear me? Yeah. 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 Okay. When, whenever you're showing your slide and you're taking any action on your screen, your audio is cutting out. So when you're showing those pictures and the animation is happening on your screen, your audio is cutting out. So okay. all I can suggest you do, all I can suggest you do is stop talking while you're changing your slide and bringing up the images. And then yeah. when you've brought up all the images and the slide is on your screen, then start talking again and explain to everybody what you're showing them. Because okay. what's happening is you're talking as you're animating and everybody's losing it. They're just saying no audio, not hearing, yeah. etc. So load load the slides first okay. and then and then talk. And people were just asking um, what font you were using. Have you, have you, did you explain that yet, or are you going to go on to that in a second? I did, uh, but I'll mention it again. Okay. Great. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Davina. No, pro no yeah. probs. No probs. Um, okay. Sorry about that, folks. Um, it seems that the audio problems are still there. Um, as you can see, I brought the same three images in and I've aligned them on top of one another on the left hand side. The font I'm using here is Sons. So this is an idea that you've got plenty of space on this side to put whatever you want in. I'm going to bring in another slide but you won't hear me talking. Yes, it's the same background. Kiwi fruits are longer, and the two, the peppers and the tomatoes, make up the the, the heart of the kiwi fruits. I've placed them to the right hand side because like flowers, if flower, a bunch of flowers are strewn about, they lose their impact. So I brought all the green, the um, t flower, fruit, sorry, and vegetables together and it really hits the eye. You can see the colours there and it creates an impact. I'm using the same words, helping local business as your social media manager, but this time the font is Gabriola and I've also made helping local business bigger 
um, as your social media manager because that is what you are doing is helping the local business this is okay but I I don't like the white on the left hand side so let's try and swap it over and that's what I'm going to do in the next slide as you can see I've changed it uh, black here white on the other side. so I'll bring the other photos and text it so it's the on the right hand side the colours are really showing up but unfortunately on the left hand side you're losing the start of the text it might work if it was a, a, a darker colour but this is what I've finally ended up with a back background which is there you'll, you'll it's, more impact the black gives a lot more contrast and I want to show you the difference between the two so I'll bring the, the two slides together and there you have it the top one yes is all right but with a tweak here and a tweak I think you'll agree, or hope you'll agree with me, that the second slide uh, has more impact, it's unified, and it looks rather smart, I think. Well, that's my uh, interesting, <laughs> in, the, in respect of the vocals demonstration, and it's back over to Joe because Caroline is going to continue. Righty, 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 folks. So we've just got a bit of a sound issue, I think. What's happening is the ladies are, uh, whenever they move their slide or something, then it's creating a bit of an issue with the sound. Um, so just bear with them, please, guys, because I think they're doing hugely well um, and are doing a fantastic presentation so far. So, Caroline, um, just to let you know um, that um, what, what's happening is you're, when, when you're doing your slides, I think you're just a few seconds behind everybody watching. So, so they're losing sound. You're obviously seeing the slides on your, Davina was seeing the slides on her screen and then talking, but we were still just losing her a little bit because she was just, uh, her slides must have been a few seconds before they're hitting our screen. So if you can just put the slide up there, just give it a sec, make sure it's settled and then explain what's on it. That would be great. Okay. Righty ho. Okay, and lots of people are asking things like, not sure about the fonts, um, don't understand what the font she said, um, and uh, da, 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 da. oh, and Sean has said, quit Jing if you've got Jing open, quit that. Um, and guys, they're going to explain the graphics program any minute. Okay, so that's fine. Yeah, lots of people are asking, what's the application and what's the graphics? Okay, cool. All right, Caroline, I'll hand over to you. Okay, thanks very much, Joe. Okay, um, I'm now going to take you through some before and after examples to illustrate more design tips that you might find helpful. Okay. Okay, so hopefully you'll see this first example, and it's Tartan Galore. And the principles I want to show here are aligning text and creating contrast. And on this particular screen uh, example, you'll see the text is centered. And, and to be honest, many people do this when they first start out. Whilst it isn't wrong to do, it can look formal, more sedate, and, well, just a bit ordinary. Also, creating contrast is an effective method of lighting, uh, highlighting something. But if you're going to do it, don't wimp out in it. Make sure there's a big contrast. So in this example here, you see the text is pale mauve, 
Now, that does provide a contrast, and it does coordinate with the background, but there's not a huge contrast. So I'm now going to move to the next slide and show you how that can be embellished. Hopefully you can see that, and what we've done here is we've aligned the text to the right, just there. And the purpose of alignment is to unify and organize the page. It's a little bit like you pick up the dog's toys that were strewn around the room and put them all into one box. And it's often a strong alignment, which this is, that can create a sophisticated, fun, formal or serious look. However, um, a point to watch out, don't use more than one alignment um, on one page. For example, what I mean by that is you wouldn't align text to the right and align text to the left. And the other thing that we've done here is that we've actually made tartan galore on the text uh, underneath it white. So there's a very direct and even more emphasized contrast between that and the background, which means that your eye is drawn to that. Now, you must make up your own mind as to which is more, most effective. And something to mention, to be honest, the thing about graphics is that it's very subjective. So what you see here may not be your cup of tea. But if it isn't, just take away some of the principles. OK, let's go on to the next slide. By the way, the font here is Dancing Script. This is the script um, with the... Um, handwoven traditional checks and exclusive designs and the tartan galore is Georgian. Okay. Okay, so we're now going to talk about uh, in a little bit more detail color contrast and here's another example to illustrate contrast and how effective it can be. So on this first slide, we've got a couple of things going on here. We've got contrasting color. We're using the complementary colors of purple and green in, in admittedly a paler shade, but it still does give some nice contrast and this looks fine. However, let's take it a step further in this next slide. So what we've done here is to incorporate the purple color into a rectangular box which immediately draws your eye to the message in that box which, you know, that's what you want. So experiment with this but be bold. Okay, uh, another quick tip if you haven't already discovered this, uh, we found it best to avoid using deep red as block color on the timeline. Facebook compresses these images and it can cause fuzziness even though you've used the right size and resolution of the image. Okay, next slide. This is about lighting your photos properly and to be honest Davina has a bit of a thing about these and in this first example when you first see it it looks okay. And this is part of the problem with photos. It isn't until you compare it to a photo that's been well lit that you realize how poorly lit the first one is. Let's go on to the next photo and you'll see what I mean. You see, when you compare it, it's obvious. The second one is beautifully lit. And you can actually do this using GIMP. This is one of the free software programs that we teach and there are plenty of other editing programs out there that you can use to do this so I guess there's no excuse really or you could have your photos of your product station taken professionally because there's no doubt about it people will judge your products and the quality of their photos with either let you down or enhance your offering. I mean we see lots of poorly lit photos on the web as you do too I'm sure. Okay, let's move on to the next slide. And what I want to talk here is about embellishing text. What I mean by that is 
using fancy scripts, using fancy fonts, using a stroke, an outline, a drop shadow. I mean, I have a bit of a thing about this myself, as some of you may know. And to be honest, because there's lots of whizzy effects that you can use on text, people tend to think that the more you use it, the better the end effect. But I happen to think that, you know, a, a case of less is more. But I suppose that's maybe my style. But let's look at this image here. The yellow drop shadow, there isn't really enough contrast between that and the orange font. I mean, the font's okay. Um, look, look at the uh, strap line, number one best-selling product on Amazon. The stroke or the outline, I think, is a little bit too heavy. Uh, and it really takes away from the effect. But let's have a look at this with some of the effects removed. Okay, so we've changed the font. This is Broadway, by the way. And we've reduced the drop shadow. And we've simply gone for a stroke and outline, not a terribly heavy one. But we have removed the outline from the tagline, the number one best-selling product on Amazon. And I think that really has um, lifted the whole, whole text from the blue background and made it much more effective. I mean, let's face it, the goal with text is that your reader should be able to read it easily and, you know, not to make them work too hard. So, I mean, there's been quite a lot of information to take in here, but the thing is, we'd really like to help each and every one of you to put together a timeline image quickly and easily so you can change it often and be confident about this. We've created some composite templates and shapes that you can mix and match but still personalise in your own way. But we'll come on to that a little later. We're now going to round this section off by showing you a couple of examples of live timeline images that we found on Facebook, both good and bad. So here's the first one, Times. And why we like this is we think they've been quite clever showing the people behind the paper and the brand and what that has done is to be more engaging and be more personal to the readers and visitors rather than just showing them news articles or an image of the paper so we, we think that that's uh, one way in which you know you can start to engage with your visitors or fans by the way another little tip here if you, for example, say this is your timeline, you uh, click on that timeline, it will take you to a separate page with your image on. On the right hand side, there will be um, a blank area where you can create a clickable link to your blog, your compelling offer, your welcome page, or Game of Angry Birds if you want to. It's your choice. The point is, there is a place there which you can create a link underneath the actual image. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, Verizon are America's largest 4G mobile network. So, to be honest, it's not really a very sexy product to showcase. But I think they've done a really good job here. They continue to change their page. They're continually showcasing their customers. And you can do this too. You can write stories about your customers. You can write testimonials from them. Look, what, what Verizon have done here is they've used the iPhone and they've got a great photograph in the center of it, very uh, strong photograph. And over here on the left, they've got the photographer who's actually taken that photograph. And they've made a story really out of the image. And people like stories. Also, the image is unfussy. Um, it's quite clean, it's got a nice um, gradient, black and grey uh, gradient, much like what Davina's just shown you. So I think it's a really a definitely a good example of less is more. But it's about engaging with their uh, individuals in a very practical way by linking the image to the photographer. On to the next one. We have an example of a well-lit footer showcasing products. And Love That Stamped does this really well, we think. 
This is the business of Terry, and um, she makes and sells hand stamped jewellery. And what she's done here is to take some, or get somebody else, to take some good, well lit photos to showcase her products in the best possible way. And um, it does make a difference, doesn't it? On to the next one. Here's an example of a pretty poor image. It's blurred and pixelated. Now, Michael Strahan is obviously quite a famous American footballer. I have no idea who he is. But look, he's got 204,000 likes. But to have a blurred image, I mean, that's not so great, isn't it? And one way to try and avoid that is to make sure that your image that you create or somebody you know, it, it, it creates for you, whatever, is exactly 851 pixels by 315. If it's too big, Facebook will reduce the size and therefore you may miss some of the detail you want to show. If it's too small, then Facebook will stretch it and that's likely what's happened in this instance here. Okay, on to the final one here. This is an example of where we think uh, this page is breaking the Facebook terms of service. We think that because, look, here's the three arrows pointing and intimating quite directly to pressing on the graphic apps here. Facebook don't like this, so we certainly don't recommend you do this. But having said that, folks, remember that um, these, change, these pages may have changed since we put the presentation together, so just be mindful of it. Okay, so again, quite a bit to take in here, but lots of tips that hopefully you can use straight away. Okay, so I'm now going to ask Joe to hand back to Davina, who's just going to finish off this section. Right, we'll, we'll, we'll do a sound check again. Can everybody, hear, if, if there's anybody left, can they hear me? Yep. And can they see the screen? Yep. That's okay. yep, 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 and yep. yep. Okay, that's, I like, I like now, the apps. Yep. Davina, Car Caroline's sound was really, really good, and it's because mm. she really paused every time she created that action. So just remember, you're a few seconds behind us, and just really make sure you pause before you talk when you when you hit a slide. Yep. Okay. okay. <sighs> yes, Thunderbirds ago. Okay. So we've shown you how to create a timeline image using a background, some text, and a variety of images. And hopefully we've given you some ideas and tips to take away with you today. But we couldn't let all that information go to waste, could we? So what we've done is we've put it all together in a graphics pack, which we've named Flexible Templates for Facebook Timelines for you to buy and use over and over again. There's over 25 exclusively designed and timeline covers, over 50 ready to use backgrounds and templates, over 50 individual graphics you can use anywhere, eight how to videos to show you how to put timelines together using Inkscape, but you don't have to use Inkscape, you can use any preferred editing program that you use. There's also a resource sheet in there giving you sites and tools that we use and think that might help you. And also there's backup and support from us. So you're not stuck and you're not on your own. There's also bonus of over 10 app graphics. So I think you can say they are colourful, you've got your sunglasses on, and they most certainly will show up on your timeline. People will see them. So both tips and ideas, and which is a video showing you how to open PSD files. Now we appreciate that not everybody's got Photoshop, 
but they may have PSD files and they can't open them. Well, GIMP can open them. And so what we've done is put a video together showing you how you can use these PSD files and the PNGs and at the same time using them working with layers because it is brilliant. How will the pack help you? They save you time and money. They're going to give you confidence because there's plenty of ideas, design ideas, and you can regularly change the image, keeping it fresh and engaging. And there is backup and support available from us. Imagine you're starting to put a fan page together to promote your local business. You know you need a, person, a business presence on Facebook and you're happy to promote it. But the thought of putting some graphics together gives you the heebie-jeebies. You're not a graphic designer. In fact, as Caroline said, you got bottom of art in school. But fear not. The videos in the pack will show you how to put a timeline together using the templates, backgrounds and graphics. Also, you can get in touch with us if you get any questions or you get stuck. The pack will also reduce the time you need to source the web for images. And you may not wish to pay for services of a graphic designer to do them for you at this stage, so it's saving you some money. The beauty of the pack is that all the elements you need to put a timeline cover image together are all in one place. I guarantee you will find something in there that takes you fancy. You can outsource later to a graphic designer when you're making loads of money. You'll soon gain confidence with using the graphics and will be regularly updating and tweaking your image. And who knows, you may discover you have a talent and start designing timeline covers for other fan page owners. We've seen some businesses charge up to $150 for this service. Also, there's flexibility because the design elements are interchangeable, compatibility, all the images are in the PNG format and are recognized by most editing programs. You can customize and change the colors to meet your own and client spec, which gives you so much variety and choice as there's over a hundred elements to choose from. Imagine you're sitting in a beach cafe in a nice warm place somewhere in the world. The sun is shining and you you're sitting with your first client and you're helping them to put a fan page together. You're feeling confident because you've spent some time researching their business and you've created a few designs which you think they will find appropriate for their business. You're showing them your ideas on your laptop. They like your ideas but ask, can you put that background with that graphic? No problem, you say, and you just move it around. I'm not too sure of the colours, they say. I would really like some colours similar to Joe Barnes's new website. No problem. Pop over to Joe's site, find the colours and put them into the graphics. Or you can put them into a programme like Pixlr and you have a limitless variety of choice and flexibility. So you've heard and seen what we have to offer. You've seen and heard how the pack will help you in your business or if you just want to play around with graphics. So all you have to do now is click on the link that Joe is putting in the box and you can buy the pack. Wait a minute you say, Davina, how much are you charging? Well, to all of our friends, $49, which includes a 30 day money back guarantee. What you're getting is over 25 exclusively designed timeline covers, over 100 backgrounds, templates, and individual graphics eight how-to videos and the backup and support from us. We think this is excellent value,
but don't delay because we've had so much fun putting the pack together. We're swamped with graphics, and so we well may we sorry we may well, may well be adding to the pack. So of course the price will rise. So take this opportunity, go and get the graphics pack at usefulgraphicdesigntutorials.com forward slash offers forward slash timeline. This is the end of the presentation and I want to thank you from myself and from Caroline for being here, for persevering and putting up with the sound difficulties. We hope that you have picked up some ideas and if you do have any questions we'd love to hear them and we'll do our best to try and answer them. Thank you very much and back to you Jo. I'm talking, having not unmuted myself. Round of applause, I think, everybody. What do we think? Can we have a huge round of applause from everybody? Because I thought they did an amazing job, don't you? Yay, yay, yay. Fantastic. Wonderful. All right. How are you feeling, ladies? Are you all right? <laughs> Relieved. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you have got some amazing uh, responses here great presentation clap oh. clap clap well done ladies excellent job awesome um, and put I've loved your free videos so much and have found them so helpful good job well done great job uh, superb brilliant yay uh, great stuff. Well done, ladies. Brilliant. Thank you. There you go, ladies. You've done absolutely fantastic. Uh, yeah. uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Now, guys, go and buy that pack. You know me? <laughs> oh, just <laughs> yeah. Can I just say for full transparency and all the rest of it, this is not an affiliate link. Okay, no. I am not receiving a penny for when you go and buy that. Caroline and Davina are getting it all. So go and buy the pack. It's a fantastic pack um, and it's going to allow you guys to, um, you know, be able to, uh, you know, make timeline graphics. And as Davina said, you know, there's hundreds of different graphics you can choose from. There's your app, app graphics as well. Plus, and this is what you won't get anywhere else backup and support from the ladies themselves so if you're out there trying to create your own timeline graphic and you run into some issues then then uh, you can just contact the ladies themselves and Mike I'm sure the ladies would love to show you some examples but you've heard the sound issues you've had tonight so if they start trying to go around their computer now it yeah. will probably um, create all sorts of issues so uh, so you're gonna have to trust us Mike you're gonna have to trust us that they are awesome um, now, if there's anybody on this call tonight who's decided that right now this pack just isn't for them, uh, you're crazy if you think that, but if there is anybody on here that thinks this pack is for them, can I please urge you to go over to their fan page, just type in useful graphic design tutorials or free graphic design tutorials in the search bar in Facebook, go and have a look at their page um, and sign up, okay, because they do some awesome videos on how to use Inkscape, um, and is it GIMP as well, Davina? That's right. Yeah. Yeah, Inkscape and GIMP. Um, and uh, they've got some great, great videos. So please head over to their fan page on Facebook. Let me just go and grab that URL for you. Um, because, as I said, here we go. Let me just grab that URL for you. Go and sign up. Go to the free training um, on their site. There's a big yellow button that says access free videos. Go and jump there. So make sure you sign up to all of their training videos because they are absolutely awesome as well okay um, all right so guys let's have some questions let's have some questions oh ladies and gentlemen you have had some customers dun 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 um, yeah you've got I've got it I've bought it I've got it <laughs> fantastic excellent um, thank you, Joe. Ladies, all bought and done. You've got you've got a few customers. Fantastic, um, awesome. Nikki says, "What's the best font to use that works on all viewing mediums for a website so it stays true on Windows, iPad, and iPhone?" <laughs> Do you well, know what's um, the kind of a standard? 
what what would be a standard because I use some funky fonts on some of my designs and I yeah. know that they don't they don't transfer that well on iPads and things like that. So what would be a good standard solid font that works on everything? Helvetica. I'll tell you what I'll do. Did you get that? Helvetica? Helvetica. Helvetica is a good one. Yeah. Ariel. Georgia. Tahoma. Georgia. Tahoma. Oh, Vidana. Does the Vidana work? I like Vidana, Vidana. as well. Vidana, yeah. yeah. Oh, and Susan Hand is saying that apparently Google use the Google fonts that are approved for websites. They have a list apparently. Right. Yeah, that's absolutely true. Great. Uh, Dwight, the timeline cover size is in what measurement? It's in pixels, Dwight. Two, eight, five, one. Gail, I don't know what to do. My daughter is a graphic artist. Okay. <laughs> a shooter then. No. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean you don't know what to do, Gail? <laughs> yeah, tell us what you mean and we'll help you. Um... <laughs> Nikki, why is Ariel not popular? And thanks for the tip of the Google list. No, Ariel is. Ariel will work, Nikki. That's not, yeah, that's not a problem. Definitely. Amrit, when are you doing a webinar on pay-per-click ads in the timeline? We did one, Amrit. Uh, if you go to my blog, you'll see a replay. Uh, Helena is saying Calibri and Impact is also great as well. Uh, Dw Dwight, length and width, 851 pixels, Dwight. By 315 pixels. Okay, 851 by 315 pixels. Will we have access to these questions, Joe? Uh, yeah, I'll put off a report at the end of this webinar okay. so you guys can go back to people and, and answer them yeah. as well. Uh, okay. Gail is saying, Gail is saying, can she do all of this? Of course you can, Gail. If you buy the pack and then give it to your daughter, if she's a graphic artist, she'll probably be able to do wonders no, she, with it, I should imagine. She she doesn't need to be a graphic artist. Gail, you can do it yourself. Just follow the videos. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. You, it, honestly, um, you can. She can do it, Joe. I don't know. Whether, Excellent. Can, can, they, can they hear us? Yep, yep. Oh, yeah. It, it's because we, we've specifically born in mind people like us who need um, you know step-by-step -step tuition and explanation and as I say we're there to help if you get stuck so you're not on your own she can do it you can go for it Gail. Excellent well done. Um, Barbara will you do a webinar on free apps to add to our site? Barbara please go and watch my day three uh, oh Barbara are you a member you are aren't you? Go and watch the day three, three day creator fan page videos that I've just loaded on the site because day two is all about adding free apps. Okay, it's like a 20 minute video, so go and watch that. Uh, what is their fan page URL? I shall type it again. Okay. Uh, Duram, do I not? Do you not cover most of these aspects in your tutorial videos in your SNA? Uh, no, Duram, I don't show you how to create graphics. I, I, I don't really. I, I have. I use a designer. <laughs> so I, 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 I probably will. Yeah, definitely. No, I don't. I don't. I um. I, I, I'm one of those people that needs to use Davina uh, and Caroline's pack because I'm not a graphic designer in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> uh. Da, da, da. Oh, Michael said, yeah, for anybody who's um, not sure about the sizes, we have cheat sheets. If you go to the Social Networking Academy blog, um, then you'll see there's uh, cheat sheets. Cheat sheets. <laughs> Gail, cheat sheets. Gail, yes, go to usefulgraphicdesigntutorials.com forward slash offers forward slash timeline, and you can go and grab that um, pack. Let me just put it in the uh, thingy again. Oh, hold on. I've lost me. I've lost me control panel there it is uh, put that in there okay do you have to change your timeline image regularly to keep Facebook happy um, no Robert they're just suggesting that you do to keep the customers happy and interested and you know engaged with your page okay Jesse's asking he's not aware of GIMP is it free is it free yeah. ladies it is isn't it GIMP oh yeah we, that's why we both Inkscape and GIMP GIMP is the 
what I would say the raster, the, the image editing software, and um, Inkscape is the, the vector, but they're both free. Right, put great. Another way, GIMP is the free equivalent of Photoshop, and Inkscape is the free equivalent of Adobe Illustrator. Yeah. Did you guys hear? Th did you guys hear that? I heard that. Yeah. Great. Um, Nikki says thank you very much. Great presentation. Thank you very much. Thank Barbara's. You. Okay, Barbara asked me an interesting question during the presentation, and I went back with an immediate no. But I wouldn't mind getting your um, your opinion on this, guys. What okay. Barbara's saying is, if your Facebook page is actually a web address, right? Can you put that on the timeline cover? Now, I immediately went back with no. You're not allowed to put web addresses on the timeline cover because that's in the about section. However, if your actual company is called whatever.com, mm -hmm. if you created a font design out of that, would you think that would be okay? Or do you think we'd still be pushing the boundaries? I, I think you could be creative and get away with it as long as you haven't got the www dot. Yeah. Um, I mean, instead of a dot, why not a, a nice little daisy or something? You yeah, know, so, so but that, 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 go on, sorry, Davina. Well, I, I think you could get around it, yes. The, these are the sort of things we might be able to help you with. Um, yeah, I, I certainly would try it. Yeah, Barbara. I think is if you were creative with the. That's why I wanted to answer you in more yeah. detail at the end. As I said, mm -hmm. if you're creative with the actual kind of design, and it's definitely the name of your actual page as well, so you're not overtly putting on there contact us at www dot, but you're you, you know you actually use the font and you know make it look all nice and everything. Then I think you probably could be okay. Well, I think that's thinking about it. I haven't got it on now, but I think that's what we've done with ours. Our website is useful, uh, useful graphic design tutorials. We haven't got the .com, but we've got useful graphic design tutorials on it. Yeah. So, so I, I, th I think, as yeah, you could put a push pin. Sorry, it's Caroline here now, but in the, in the shy corner. Hold on a minute, Caroline. Let me unmute you so people can hear you <laughs> properly. Oh dear. Oh, there you go. Cool. So, so you mean all that that knowledge and and sort of wisdom there was. Nobody could hear it. What I was what I was saying was you could you <laughs> Barbara, you could use a push pin. That mm -hmm. kind of could convey uh, a, a dot. You could use a balloon. We've got a nice little balloon in the pack. So yeah, you you could make a little feature out of that, I think. There you go. Um, Martina is saying, I find it really confusing to know what calls to action are allowed on the banner. No calls to action at all, or is there a grey yeah. zone? No grey zone, Martina. No calls to action. Don't do it. There you go. Confusion over. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, just don't do it. It's, it's mm -hmm. right, isn't it, ladies? Just don't, just don't put a call to action on at all, and then you're, you know, job done. Yeah, definitely. Terry, where on SNA do I find the three-day program you just did, Joe? If you, Terry, if you go to Facebook in the nav bar at the very top when you when you log into the social networking academy just click on the Facebook link on the nav bar at the top and that will bring up a page and you'll see the new timeline um, button and you can click on that and it's the uh, three day there's three videos on there three day videos uh, oh Susan's just given the link to that Google web fonts so let's just share that with everybody thank you very much for that Susan oh a few more customers. Oh. Anne says, Anne says, for everybody yeah. still on the call, um, Anne has just purchased. She has to tell you both, your tutorials are the only ones I have ever been able to learn from. In the oh. past, I have paid three times the price of this package for a single class and not understood a darn thing. Mm. Oh, Joe, can you tell me which Anne that is? Anne Gormley. Oh, yes. Hi, Anne Gormley. Hi. Yes. Yes. We, we've had several conversations with Anne. Excellent. Um, Mike dog. is saying. Dog. Mike, Mike is. Mike wants to know how the lighting works in GIMP for the coffee cup. Ah. Uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> is that Mike Cox? No, Mike Morris. How the lighting works in GIMP? Well, look, I'll have a personal conversation with you on Mike about that if you like. It's a bit complicated. 
I don't know if that's going to satisfy you, but um, it, it it wouldn't translate very well. I'd have to probably show you, to be well, honest. Well, yeah. yeah. there is actually, um, on our free tutorials, uh, it's to do with levels. So if you if you want to have a look, I'm not sure whether it's about number 11 or something like that, but the Learn the GIMP, um, and it's in there. It's to do with levels. Yeah, it's, yeah. Cool. But, but um, uh, come to the come to the wall, Mike, um, yeah. and announce yourself. And, and as I say, how we like to kind of troubleshoot and show is to go onto Skype, share the screen, so you can actually see real time. Because it's it's just much easier to see it demonstrated as opposed to talked in theory. If that makes any sense. Yeah, Mike said thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, Nikki, FB rules say you can't make reference to your website, but later on you said it was okay to put a link into your blog. No, no links, Nikki. Don't don't put links on your timeline cover. No, but she, underneath she, it, underneath it. Oh, that's what they meant. Ah, that was when you were saying, yeah, Nikki. What happens is when you've got a picture. Hmm. In fact, shall I shall I just show my screen a second and show them? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let me just make myself the presenter. Uh, Make sure I haven't got anything uh, I shouldn't have up there, <laughs> incriminating. <laughs> right. See where um, you can see Caroline and Davina's picture mm -hmm. here. Yeah, that's their actual um, timeline cover. So if I click on that timeline cover, that is actually going to take me through to their photos page. And there they've got a link through to another page. Yeah. So that could be a blog link, it could be a page through to their app. If you actually look at mine, thank you to the very lovely Neil Farley for going in and doing this for me. If we go <laughs> over to the SNA, he's awesome. Yes. If we click on my picture here and you go and have a look, I've got my main site, my blog, Facebook, Twitter, yeah. Google, LinkedIn, YouTube. So you can put all these links actually on the photo. Now, okay, people have got to click on the photo to see those, but look, people are going to click. I've got yeah. these people here that have clicked through. Have a look. So that's how you can link, put links behind your, and also you've got this about section down here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, will you have an affiliate program? Ladies, will you have an affiliate oh, program for your possibly? Oh, yeah. Who, who's our po possibly? Yes. Kathy, who's Kathy that? would like to know. Kathy Mahoney. Kathy Mahoney. Okay. Possibly. Um, well, yes. <laughs> Excellent. Kathy, uh, you, and, you to, go on. Sorry, go on, Caroline. No, no, no. Carry on. Um, Anne Jordan Mills just didn't hear um, what you what you made those equivalents of Caroline. You know when you said about Inkscape uh -huh. and GIMP. Can you just repeat that? Of course. Hello, Anne. Uh, it's GIMP is the free equivalent of Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop, and Inkscape is the free equivalent of Adobe Illustrator. They both cost about six or seven hundred quid here and GIMP and Inkscape are free which is one of the reasons why you know we like to um, show people how to use them. Did you hear that? Um, yeah that's that was loud and clear. Robert has got a very good question actually guys. Um, mm -hmm. Can you can you use this pack to apply the graphics for other kinds of things like web pages or blogs or squeeze pages? Absolutely. We, we've we've made all the um, elements in PNG, uh, and so most uh, software will use PNG. So yeah, you can you can resize them, you can change the colours, you can do whatever you want with them. There you go. I'm just looking now. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Uh, where are you now supposed to place your call to action? Well, that's the thing, Duram. <laughs> that's a little bone of contention with Facebook. You, you know, you, you can possibly get away with it over here in the profile image, uh, a little, you know, click like or whatever. Um, and the other thing you can do is look. Here, see how Carolina Davina have pinned, um, the, you know, the the webinar to the top. They've used this little pin here, and that, and you can do that for seven days. Yeah. So you can actually pin a post to the top. So you could put a call to action there, although I personally would use the pinning to put really, really good content. Um, 
And then you've got to just be very creative with these apps. Like, look what Caroline Davina done. You know, that's very that stands out. Access free videos. Get in touch. Yeah. Um, and of course, you get all those in the pack. Well, you actually yeah. get about fourteen or fifteen. I had such fun um, personally <laughs> creating them. I don't know about Davina, but um, yeah, it, it is a way to be quite creative. You just got to think out the box, haven't you? Yeah, I mean, you, it, it's kind of trying to encapsulate um, the action in, in, a, in an image, uh, in an image way, and then translate that into a punchy two or three word action. I, I have to say, Caroline is exceptionally good at that. She really has done a fantastic job with those. Oh, it's like getting me colouring book out though and doing it. It's fun. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> excuse me, ladies. Sorry. Um, a couple of people are asking, how long is your offer going to be available for? Why, why, why are you asking? What, what's what's the reason behind the question? <clears throat> just just a couple of people are saying they need to transfer some money and wait till oh, payday well, and that kind of stuff. Oh well, we're yeah, not. We'll have, what's the names? No, no, no. Hang on. I'll I'll answer this now. We're not into scarcity here. Um, you, you know, it's it's going to run for quite some time. So, um, yeah, I mean, go and buy it. But, as Davina said, we, we do possibly intend to add more images to it, so the price might go up. But the offer, you know, the, the, the actual pack itself will be around for a while, but not necessarily at that price. Yeah. Great. <clears throat> a few people are asking about the affiliate program, so we may need to have a chat about that, ladies. I think we will. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I mean... <laughs> Set, set that up for you. So yeah, yeah, I've got I've got I've got four or five people on in now saying, please, I'd like to know more about the affiliate program. Okay. So we'll have to we'll we'll have a chat about that. It's very very easy to do, guys. <laughs> we'll just um uh, yeah okay we'll we'll have a chat about that. <laughs> we're gonna have to we're gonna have to put it we're gonna have to put it on ClickBank. I think probably the easiest way to yes. do it. Yeah. Um, Joe, I, I would like to say one thing, if I may, um, to folks out there. I don't know the people who don't necessarily know us very well, but. We're not terribly experienced at um, the technical side of things. And we just want to say that, look, if we've managed to get to this point, putting a webinar together, sort of scrambling and stumbling, then anyone can, to be honest. Yeah. We have had some help. Joe's helped us. Uh, Christmas has been fantastic. Oh, Christmas is just to die for, honestly. Go and see his site. Oh, He's yeah. brilliant. Sorry. He's a good he's a good guy, Chris Mercer, isn't he? Yes, he's a he lovely a fella. Guy. Yeah. Lovely, yeah. lovely voice too. Yeah, he has got a really nice cool. voice, hasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> um Dawn's just asking, they do your graphics include the developer rights for creating images for other people? What exactly does Dawn mean by that? Uh, I think to create graphics for clients. Yes. Yeah. Yes it does. Yeah. 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 Because that the idea yes. you see is um, we know that there's a number of people out there, social media managers, who will be wanting to do things for clients. Well, yeah, you buy the pack, you use them as you want them. So just to yeah. make that quite clear, if the pack is forty nine dollars and there's so many different combinations that you can have in there, quite apart from the fact of the designs we've put together, you can change the colours. Um, you can actually sell a timeline. Um, that you've created through that pack at one hundred and fifty dollars. Yep, it's so a no-brainer. Make your money back. Yeah, it yeah. is total yeah. no-brainer. Yeah. Um, I've had a question on who is Davina and who is Caroline. This one here no, is Davina, <laughs> and this one here is Caroline. The the cool Mission Impossible looking <laughs> one is Davina, <laughs> and the giggly having a good laugh one is Caroline. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm the shy retiring one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, as she uh, said, I'm, I'm the older one. Ah, <clears throat> uh, um, oh, Morris. Morris has said, my girlfriend adores these ladies, and they have helped her so much. Her oh, name is, is Cara. Oh, hello, and Morris. She, hey. And she wanted to be on this webinar with me, but she'll be watching the recording. Uh, hello, Morris. We've heard about you. Great to talk to you. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Hey, Morris is a pretty cool dude too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, affiliate that's program, excellent. affiliate okay. program, affiliate program, affiliate program. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, affiliate program. Okay. 
Um, all right, David. David, I think it's definitely D David as opposed to Hill David. David, I think your name uh, come up the wrong way around. Um, hi, guys. I have used Inkscape for vector images. Great. Would you recommend Windows meta files and mm -hmm. enhanced meta files via PowerPoint to prevent pixelation? Great, <laughs> great Prezzo, by the way, full of admiration. Thank you very much. Thank you. Lovely, lovely Caroline, did you say that? <laughs> Uh, th sorry, folks, that's because I use Windows and Davina has the flashing Mac. Um, I have to unravel the question to begin with, David. I don't think I really understand the question, to be honest. C can we Would talk? Would you recommend? Yeah, do you want to go onto their page, David, and ask them on their page? And then Caroline can give it a bit more time yeah. rather than uh, rushing understand. through it on this. Yeah, yeah. I want yeah. to understand really this question. What saying. Yeah. A couple of people have asked. Sorry, David Hill. Is? Thank you. David Hill. A couple of people have asked if they buy the pack now and you do some updates in the future, will they get will they get the updates? We haven't thought about it to be <laughs> honest. Thought about that, no. <laughs> um, at a reduced rate, yeah. Why not? We're a bit of a soft touch. Oh my god, am I supposed to say that? <laughs> well no, I mean we <laughs> Well, we we probably charge the difference between what we're charging now and what we would charge for um, a bigger pack. Exactly. You know. Yeah. We would do the right thing, folks. There you go. Um, Julie, sorry, Julie's just asking me a question. Is Facebook the only way to connect with you and SNA now? Can't email. Has the login changed? Not sure how to connect now. Julie, you need to join the group. Okay, join our group because that is a private group. It's a members-only group, and if you've got any Facebook questions or anything that you're not sure about and you want to run them by me, um, then uh, why isn't my going to home? Uh, then uh, you can, you know, ask in the group in a nice private setting. Yeah. Um, so do make sure you come over here and that you um, come in here and join the group. Yeah. So. That is Facebook groups. This is for members only. This is literally for only for people who are members of the SNA. If you're not a member, then you won't be able to get into the group. Okay. Um, can you use these photos for print items like a brochure? Ah, good question. Um, oh, yes and no. <laughs> Yeah, um, it, because of the size of them, they really are aimed at uh, the web. Um, if I tell you what, we, we'll do because we've created them in Inkscape, and of course we we've got as uh, the all sizes there. If they have a difficulty with it, come back to us, and we'll we'll work it out with them. We, we, the reason for saying that, Joe, is that we, we've got all the masters and there are going to be people um, who are using Inkscape through our teachings and we could have given the master files for them and if they have the master files they would have been able to increase the size very, very easily but we didn't want to actually muddy the waters and create it more complicated than it needs be. Yeah. So if somebody wants to do that, they can come back to us and we can easily give them that master file so they can actually make a banner as mm. one of our, our fans have done. You know, I mean a roadside banner. Yeah. Ten foot. Ten foot wide. But but you need that uh, master file to do that. Yeah. And we you, haven't you included need... that in. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, Graham Wardle would like to know if you're married, Caroline. <laughs> And Graham Warden, why are you asking the question? Because he said you sound fun. She is fun. <laughs> I, I obviously don't. I obviously don't. How do you spell your name, Graham Warden? And what's the address? <laughs> is he in this country? <laughs> Caroline's going to show up at your door. Um... <laughs> no, it's snowing. I can't do that. It's snowing. <laughs> Owen wants to know, does the course show you how to do the links when you click the timeline picture? I just clicked my timeline picture and there are no links. Uh, oh, it's just a photo, Owen. You just look, if I click on this photo here. Is that Mr. Shackleton? Uh, it is, I think, yes. Owen mm -hmm. Shackleton, yes. Um, can I do it from here or not, from the photo? 
I have to go actually go into the photo, don't I? Owen, oh, uh, listen, I've, I've got, I need to, some blog inspiration for today, so I'll do a quick vid on how to add links to your picture, okay? <laughs> <laughs> um, Glenn, Glenn Langridge wants to know if there's any pictures of sprouts in the <laughs> graphics pack. <laughs> No, but there's a nice tie, tell it. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. What, what, sort of, what sort of question is that, Mr. Langridge, please? <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. We, I think we have. Um, you said that look like sprouts, green buttons, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Julie, just in response to your question, my love, if you've got anything that's very private that you want to speak to me about, please email support <laughs> at joebarnesonline.com. That will go to my assistant okay. Nan and she'll pass it on. So support at joebarnesonline.com. Um, Anthony wants to know, will the graphics work with Xara, X-A-R-A? Does Xara recognize PNG? Ask him that. So if, if right, if Zara recognises PNG, Anthony, then you're you're good to go. Yeah, I would have thought so. I mean, I don't I know the per so. program personally, but I can't believe it wouldn't. Um, Kasani, I think that's how I say your name, is it? Said, where will I find week three of the training? Uh, what <laughs> week three of? Yeah, week three of what training, my love? Do you mean the three-day training? If you're talking about the three-day training, then you need to go to Facebook in the site. You go up to the top nav bar and click Facebook, and you'll see the new timeline. Um, good God. Susan saying she's having a good laugh. Well <laughs> done, you guys. Susan, Susan Johnson. No, Susan Johnson. Oh, right. Um, Joe. Duram, a question for you. I'm so far behind. How do I catch up now? Duram, you're only behind in your own journey, my love. You, you, you know, the SNA is there. It's there's no rush for you to do anything. Just take it step by step. We've got we're doing a brand new course starting first of May. Um, you know, a live course taking you through some stuff. So you know, hold out for that. That will be good fun as well. Um, but other than that, just go and watch the videos totally in your own time. There's no behind. You're not behind anybody. It's just your journey. Take it at your own pace. Uh, yeah, okay, Kasani, that's right. Just go to the social networking academy com, log in, and then click on Facebook, all right, in the top nav bar. That will take you to the Facebook page, and you'll see in there a big bright button that says new timeline, okay? Um, Cher says, I've got it, and I love Caroline. Um, oh, Cher. I promise to eat more raw vegetables, honest. Yeah. Especially Robert. Robert, the live course will start at week one. No, Robert, the live course is all about marketing. Okay, it's not about finding your niche. It's not about creating your compelling offer. It's not about uploading pages. It is literally about marketing. It is going to be a live um, seven-week course. How you how to use the social media platforms to market and get traffic. Okay, so that's what it's going to be about. All right, guys, I think we've pretty much come to the end of uh, yeah. the questions. Um, all right, so ladies and gentlemen, don't forget, head over to uh, usefulgraphicdesigntutorials.com forward slash offers forward slash timeline and go and grab your graphics pack. Get it now. The ladies aren't into scarcity, but I am, so I'm shutting it all down in an hour. <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, no, I'm only joking. Um, Gail's, well, how about a class on what not, not to do, i.e. get the panda slap? I don't know anything about panda, Gail. <laughs> I do. I do. I do. <laughs> ah, Caroline knows about panda. Excellent. Um, what Facebook doesn't allow. Um, I'd, much, I'd much rather focus on what they do allow and how yeah. to get traffic. Um, you can just go to the Facebook help section to find out different things. I, I'll, I can do a video on d different things that you really shouldn't do on Facebook. But uh, let's let's focus on you know what we can do and getting lots of traffic. Um, Ros just wants to know whether PSD files are included in your pack. They're not, are they? No, They're not no, PSD. No. no, no, PSD are Photoshop files. Yeah. And not, go on, Davina. Well, as I said, not everybody's got Photoshop. Um, but they will open in GIMP. But no, we they're all PNG files. But Roz, you can open the PNG files that we have in Photoshop. 
if you have Photoshop. If that makes sense. <laughs> yep, yep. Okay, um, sorry, I've confused a couple of people with my seven-week course. Don't worry about it, guys. Okay, you you will hear about it. It'll be on the you you will not miss it. It will be on the page. It will be emailed to you. It will be on my wall. It will be on the SNA wall. It starts on the first of May, and I'll be um, releasing all the details about it in the next week or so. Okay, so don't worry about that. Um, all right, Terry is saying if they're all PNG files, how can they be edited? Um. Well, they just can be. You can change the colours. You can. Take a the pack take comes with training, Terry. The pack comes with training. What? So, I'm not, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Yeah. I'm trying to work out what other ways in which you can edit, say, a round balloon. Do you know what I mean? You can resize them, you can change the colour. Um, yeah. Yeah. Just trying to work out what he's meaning, really. But who is it, Terry? Terry, no, Terry Black. Okay. Uh, all right. Anyway, look, um, the, the the pack comes with training, guys. Okay. So when you buy the pack, then you'll see the training with them, and uh, and you'll be good to go. All right. Let's call it a night. Okay. So um, thank you very much, everybody, for joining us. Um, I will be passing on the report to the ladies, so if anybody's got any other questions, then uh, the ladies will be able to see those and um, you know, we'll, we'll be able to come back and answer your questions and all that kind of stuff. Thank you very much for joining us, everybody. Thank you for attending. Thank you, Caroline and Davina. It was an awesome presentation. <laughs> thank you very much, Joe. Thank you, Joe. And thank you, everybody else, too, for, for being I hope you've here. learned something, folks. Yes. Yeah, okay. and we will be releasing the replay over the next few days. Okay, yes. so look out for the replay. All right, yes, and we so will yeah. email everybody that's attended with the replay. Thank you very much, Joe. And we'll be speaking soon, won't we? We sure will. We sure yeah. will. Okay, guys, take care, yep. care, everybody. Have a wonderful day, whatever you're doing, and uh, go and get your pack, and we'll speak to you all very, very soon. Ta-da! Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.